you've never seen my show, that shit is it's called Jess's Shit Show. I watch it all the time. Though why did you ask me which show? I didn't. That's what you said. Oh, really? Okay, so I am here. Um, and he has no content. He just wanted to meet me. Ah, Baja, thanks to Dre, J R E. Yes, so. JRE is the one who was telling me you should meet him. He's really funny, and I like to actually interact with people that are funny mm. or have humor because you don't want to be like a, you don't want to have show people boring stuff. You know, you want to see like real exactly. stuff. This burger is so big. It's fucking like, big. <laughs> how the fuck we gonna eat this? Ah, Look. I think that's all content. Wow. Are you Korean? Like half? I'm Filipino. <laughs> it's plastic surgery. No, I know that. Ah! So you could speak Filipino? I used to be able to speak it on my forgot. So how much does it pay? What do you think? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you do? do not recommend anyone to eat burgers with pork. Yeah, that's not the way. If you're going to eat a hamburger, you eat it right. Period. So What's like your but, hood? But my hood is Yongsan. That's where I live. I used to work at the base here. Oh really? Yeah, my dad I came here because my dad's in the military. Oh yeah. interesting. <laughs> Did you hear my new album? Of course I did. Mega Witch, Mega <laughs> A lot of people forgot that I dropped an album. They thought I dropped just one single. Which mm. was and then I was just like, no, I don't want you guys to hear about my whole entire album. Yeah. Especially Star. You can blame it on the CDs that my brothers bought me. Lord hell, you be there and the new Ashanti. Yeah. Because that was kind of more about my life. And because there's a lot of new fans. Yep. So they see me as out. Oh, she just came back, or she's like new, but like, no, I've been doing this. You've been for a lot. 2000, the original? 2005. Yeah. Just the Kaicho, and then I went to Uptown, and then I went to Jesse, then I went to Lucky J, and then I was, was Jesse again. After doing all those projects, and finally, like, you're like literally, like, top of the charts. Your show is like probably the most popular on. Oh, Jesse Show Debut. Mm -hmm. The Show Debut, that was kind of like a real gamble because it was like. Damn, it's either people are gonna hate it or people will love it. Cause we went totally out of what everyone wants. And it's like, it's pretty much just a shit show. <laughs> I thought it was only on YouTube, but apparently it's on TV too. Yeah, every, that's why I was shocked. So like SBS, they love the review, so they're like, we need this on TV. I wanted it to be called Jess <laughs> Yeah, you heard that, right? Yeah. But it didn't clear because it was gonna go on TV, so now everyone's like, Oh, we want the interviews longer. No, you want it short, so you want people to come back for more. Watch out. I would preferably want some people to have it longer because there's some people that are so funny. I wish that they could see more of their personality. That's what the concept of the show is. Mm. I want to bring out their character characteristics. Exactly. Cause me, I'm really good at making someone feel comfortable. Like I just met him. <laughs> Super comfortable. No, but tell me not. I'm I came not here not. and it was like you were my friend, and yeah. this is the first time meeting you. I'm like, Seth, right. I might be intimidating, but if you get to know me, I'm not like. Yeah, I'm very open. Thing. I'm mm -hmm. very like. I came in, you're acting like I knew all you guys. Okay. I'm like, where's my burger? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want everyone to just think that you're send on you all the time. Just get it out there. Send on me, you know, it means an independent woman. That's what my send on me, a strong minded woman. I don't have a filter. I do when it comes to certain things, but me, in living in this country, obviously, we all know it's it's very like conservative. So, but me, even though I get shit sometimes for like people saying, oh, damn, Jess, you. She's so out of the norm. Like, why is she like, oh my god, who is this animal, you know, coming out on TV? But me, I know I'm doing a good job because I know that there's so many people who tell me, like, you're so funny. You're such a breath yeah. of fresh air. And that, for me, I feel like I'm doing something right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yo, if you go to like New York or LA, you won't see like a hundred of me. Like, in this <laughs> sometimes when I go to New York, I can't even talk because my friends talk louder than me. You know what I mean? But I think that. I am where I am today is because I never gave up on myself. 
just you know doing stuff to make people happy my fans my, my family but this burger is just not right <laughs> like, oh we never have to introduce ourselves yeah what's your name <laughs> Eddie? so what's your career name what's my career name you can't just make up a career name nice to meet you, nice to meet you. my nice name you. is jessica hi jessica <laughs> nice to meet you um why are you not eating I'm so nervous right now that I'm like... Why? I you know when people meet me though? They're all always nervous, but then later they're just like, Oh my god, I'm gonna be your friend. The manager won't let that happen. Oh, him? <laughs> no one can control me. <laughs> Jesse, this collab was supposed to happen like three weeks ago. Yeah. Which one did you like the best? Personally. Personally? No, like, everyone had... This is what I say. You can't like every song. Mm -hmm. But my song, my album is bomb. It is. If you hear it, all those songs at the club, listen. <laughs> at the club. Every day I see the stars. Well, yeah, that's it was the one with the DM. Uh, put yeah. it on you. Put it on you. I will say that one. I was like, it's my Damn, you know what's so scary? Because that song was supposed to get archived. So I didn't really want. I was like, bro, like, just put it out. We were going to shoot a video, like a small video, mm -hmm. but then it, we, the time was just not right. I was just doing so much reality and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to do it so much, but yeah. So am I interviewing you? How was the burger, Jesse? <laughs> so what are we talking about? Ooh. I'm like obsessed with clouds, so this video is like speaking to me. Yeah, well, those clouds were stiff as hell. All right, stop before we get copyright. They got hot. Okay, so then we're talking about that. So much, yeah, I don't miss it. That's how you know. That's how comfortable I am. I'm not intimidating at all. I treat like this to everybody. Like I've been like this since I was young. I never changed since I was like 14, and I think that's why I get along with my my staff so well because I've worked with them so long and. They don't change because I don't change. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's still like, we're just like laughing, cursing, like having fun. It's really rare to see people like that, but it's all about mind control. Because when you're in this industry, you fall into a dark hole mm -hmm. and you don't even know it. You don't know what caused this, but yeah. it's because of probably all the, you know, the standards and like the expectations yeah. and just the, all the pressure. But I managed to balance that. But right now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm having a difficult time because I don't sleep a lot. I sleep mm -hmm. like, Hours, two, yeah. three hours a day. I'm just. What's going on? I really don't know either. What are you talking about? Google Manga. What am I doing? I'm not good at this shit. Really? 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 Right, that's why people don't drop albums as much, yeah. right? But for me, I don't want to put an album and just put any songs. Like, I literally have so many songs on deck. Like, I could sing like four or five songs a day. No. But it's because I write my own music. Oh, really? I didn't want to like put out an album and just be like, bam, I have 12 tracks, guys, here you go. Yeah. And like give them, you know, me, it's about quality mm -hmm. and quantity. So I never knew that Nuna Nana would do this well. It's yeah. Was it originally not supposed to be the Yeah, title? it was supposed to be now in Korean, but it, it just didn't come out the way. Why'd you open it? Oh! <laughs> Everyone expects an, uh, an album, but I'm gonna give an album when I want to give an album. You don't want to just, just throw shit to anybody, you know? Especially to my fans. I don't want them to get some shit music. And if I want to, I could. But I'd rather have good quality. But then... This time around, my album, Nuna actually did pretty well and... Pretty well, it didn't like blow up? No, I'm, I'm still here. Ah! I literally worked so hard on Nuna Nana and that was because six people worked on that song. Mm -hmm. That's how that song came out that fast and that good. I'm just very thankful for that and also Hoodie you Onni. Know, she didn't even have to, you know, but she yeah. wanted to because she loved the song and she loved the concept. And now I'm doing, you know, Refund Sisters, Humble One Jump Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like crazy how like everything is just clicked with like yeah you know and I'm just like I feel super blessed and like it's crazy because like I don't have a day off but like I feel myself getting skinny and like fragile 
like, you know, it's just, you lose stamina as you're know, getting older. So, you know, I always have to remind myself, you're really blessed, you know, because, you know, times like this right now, everyone's having a hard time. We're all, we all, we all going through a hard time, you know? I'm so mentally like up and down. It's crazy because I, some days I'll be like super happy. And then one day I'll just be completely like, yeah, I know, so, yeah, I know. like don't talk to me right now. Yeah. So that was kind of like today because I had like two shows a day. You are yeah. running another one. And right now, I'm running this one because obviously this is not a show. I couldn't get it. I really want to meet you. And... What do you want? Someone is it? Someone? Someone? I thought you were like... I thought you were like... I thought you were from like Europe or something. Oh. Really? Oh. Just from California? I'm not really. This was so sudden, guys, our, this meeting, because I was supposed to meet him like a month ago, but that's when I was like, promotion. Yeah. I literally, at one point, I was like, who's Eddie? <laughs> <laughs> Even today, she's that's like, wait, I had so much going on. I had so much going on, and then I was like, oh my god, there's no way I can put this into here, because I don't want to... There was a time that I was going to meet you, but I was fucking sick. But then I could have done it, but I would have been like, like, like... What? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to meet you like that. Right now, I'm not in the best condition either, but it's all good. Like, we're eating, just having fun, I guess. Are you just all in the What are you guys hearing this, by the way? I'm fucking slow in the so maybe it can come out in three weeks, four weeks. Oh, hell no. I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> Oh, don't like it. Yeah, everything. Just do it! Thank yeah. <laughs> you. Do you talk to your manager in English or Korean? Korean. Korean? Yeah. That's your question? I was wondering. Side, side, why I talk to you in English? Do you guys always work on music together? Mm. Yeah. I get this asked this question a lot, like, because Sai is also a, a boss. For him, he sometimes forgets that he's just like, just a boss, you know? But he's like an artist, been an artist his whole life. You know, he does kind of get involved into our, our music and touches our stuff a lot, but I don't mind it anymore. I, I at first, it was really, it bothered me. I was like, uh, wow. Because yeah. me, I'm very, I'm all about my creative yeah. thoughts. He goes kind of overboard sometimes, but like now it's been like a year and a half that we've known each other. So we've, we've bumped heads, we've clashed heads, and now we know where this one is, you know? But sometimes he'll go overboard and be like, just come on. Like, I'm like, no. <laughs> we bump heads, but at the same time, that's when creative stuff comes out. Exactly. Me, like, I'm literally, if you see me at the studio, I'm... Well, you probably won't see me at the studio, but if you see me at the studio, people think I'm crazy because they're like, Jess, you don't have to finish the song right now. I was like, I gotta finish it. Mm -hmm. Say my voice is like completely gone, or I'm gonna do a song that's low, or I'm gonna rap. I have to finish this up. Like me, if I don't get a job done that day, I can't sleep at night. I have this weird like feeling and like, say I go on vacation. I'm like, yes, I can finally go on vacation. You know, like I need a deep breather. And tell me that I'm like itching to go. I'm getting like a panic attack because I need work. It's just in me. Like, it's like weird to not work for me. Yeah. When the whole Corona happened, I like was panicking. I was like, oh my God, we don't have shows. We don't have anything. Like my family back at home. I can't even go back home. Like they, we're stuck here. Everyone can't travel. I'm just like, I didn't know what to do. And like, then I came to a conclusion. I was like, damn, we just gotta all like, like be positive, you know. This but, is around after uh, Drip and all that had already come out, right? Yeah, bro, way, way after. I was in LA for like four to like four months. I was just gonna sign to a label out there with, uh, you know, a lot. I met with almost the top people of the, in Hollywood. <laughs> when I go to Hollywood, I only go on big because I know how Hollywood is. Okay. Hollywood is a very, very scary place. Just there, it's a different type of superficial. You know, it's all about like their cars, how they dress. You gotta always have fake eyes. Like I was there and my I never had eye like my eyelashes were like touching Touch your eyelashes. brows. Yeah, because I was like, oh my god, I need to wear makeup. Yeah. Cause like well, everyone be just be looking Super good glad, all yeah. the time. Now I'm just working hard in Korea, you know? I can't leave the country, so I'm just gonna work my best out here. Right? Yeah make my Korean fans happy and like that's why I did my Jesse show. You know what I thought about? I was like, I don't want to make a Jesse show. It's so cliche. I feel like no one bought it. 
you know, a lot of people on TV ask me, oh, Jess, um, we need to figure out what hobbies you want, you have, so we could do something for like TV. And I'm like, I don't do anything. I don't go out. I don't drink. I don't. I don't do anything. Like I'm just home playing with my dog or watching Netflix. Chewy. Chewy. Yeah. He's at the dog park. Oh. He's been there for like a couple days. Okay. So he's, he's attached to me. Like he's like literally like if you touch me, like just say you go like that, uh -huh. he'll bite you. <laughs> yeah, he Jesse? will. He got my person now. <laughs> Did with the Jesse show. I was just like, oh, should we do this? But then they really wanted to work with me. I was like, okay, let's do it. We did it sort of bad, and then it just like all of, all of a sudden. But then I got why people liked it. At first, I didn't think it was funny because I don't think I'm funny. I'm not a fucking comedian, people. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm not a comedian. I just have a funny personality. I have good humor. Yes. Yeah. I started doing that show, and like they were just like, "Damn, you're a really good host, Jess." Yeah. Like, because even the people that came, everyone was kind of like you, like. This is his show, by the way, guys. <laughs> Say that he's the host of my show, right? They're all like very shy at first, and then I bring out the best of, out of them. And I know how to do that because I know how to like let them like, because I ask them certain questions. I don't ask them like fun questions. Because fun questions lead into fun answers, and then it's just like awkwardness, you know? So you gotta be like, oh, what do you do? Do you have a boy? Oh yeah, where's your boyfriend now? And then it, it makes them feel weird. Anyway, so. Ooh, don't hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to stop me. I feel like losing it's nice to hear you talk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I talk too much. But don't you like talking? <laughs> I do. Yeah, but I'm sure everyone wants to hear it anyway. I just like to talk because I I just like to talk. I just, you know, I don't like awkwardness. That awkwardness mm. makes me feel weird. I get right. anxiety when there's awkwardness. I'm uh, like, when I when I see people who don't talk. I'm just like, what is wrong with you? Please <laughs> don't. But, yeah. What I get? They got you. 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 They got I did my back ball too. Your own body. I will be three things that inspires you. Ooh, I've never got a question like this. I think it's okay. Obviously, first and foremost is my fans because I get such a great response from the people, especially in Korea. You know, I've been receiving so much love in America, but getting love in Korea is like completely different because they accepted me for yeah. who, who I am. Yeah. You know, and that's like a different feeling when you get love from your people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was kind of like a, a weirdo out here for them. You know, for them, they, they see me and they're just like, what the hell, you know? But now that I'm accepted as a musician as well, because my music, I've never been on this higher charts, especially with this tough competition. Mm -hmm, right. So my fans, obviously, and the people, and hmm, what else inspires me? I would say like, McDonald's. McDonald's? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. That gets me through the day, but I wouldn't say it inspires me. You always, I always see you drink coffee in your oh, vlogs. Yeah. What's your go-to menu? Oh, I I switched up on all of them. They're all like shocked. I went from vanilla ice latte to hazelnut ice latte to hazelnut iced coffee. And now I drink a espresso frappuccino with a double shot. She's so like I drink trouble. four of those a day. That's three, four, six, eight coffees a day. Oh. I don't know how long I'm gonna live for. <laughs> but that's probably why I'm this crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so her fans Maybe coffee. Maybe that's why. No, my fans, my coffee is not my inspiration. <laughs> for me, it's my fans and my family. I don't get to see my family, so I like to, you know, when I even go on these kind of shows or anywhere, right, I don't like to talk about anything negative because my parents watch everything. And they just see that I'm happy. They don't see the bad. So that's why my parents and my brothers, like people that know me, know me, like they respect me so much in terms of as a person because they're like, yeah, this girl, she falls, but she accepts it and she gets back up and like nobody has to pick her up. And usually you need someone to, you know, someone to help you, right? Right? Because we all have our go through our bad days and depression and stuff like that. Like you said, like you were like, oh, you're, you're on the top. Yeah, then none of that really matters to me. If anything, I've become more 
Jesse from the block. Oh, I'm still Jesse. Like, I'm still that Jesse that I was when I was a kid. And that's why nobody around me says, like, damn, she changed. She, they yeah. say she changed in a better, for the better, in a good way. Mm-hmm. Because she knows, like, how, how it feels to be treated. Because, you know, people portray me as a zen only, like you said. But if you get to know me, I'm like a softie. Yeah. You know, and I have a lot of tears. And I think a lot. I fucking think too much. That's, that's a bad thing, though. Yeah. Just in general. Like, I'll, like, be eating this burger and I'll just think too much about this burger. That's why I put myself in real positions. But it's just a person, my personality. A part of my personality, so. Maybe, maybe you're Not my inspiration. He's, <laughs> he's the love of my life. Oh. Like, I love him to death. Like, I miss him, like, when he's not around because he's so loud. But when he's at home, he's so quiet. Where's he at right now? He's at a, a place called Dog Bay. It's the biggest swimming pool in Korea. Yeah, he's swimming. He's a swimmer. That's adorable. <laughs> he might Should be in the Olympics soon. After this, I'm gonna go home and sleep. That's good. Like a baby. Yeah. If you let me go home. Ask me some damn questions! I want you to have some type of content. Before I forget, I have a present for you. <gasps> what is. Oh. Uh, yeah, you, you guys are so, don't do that, nice. I'm a prior. It's not the big things for me, it's the little things that count for me. Okay. I don't need people, a uh, sugar daddy. Hey, sugar daddy. Make my own bread. Get out of here. I didn't come I started by making friends, so. <laughs> Why does it have to have your friends? I love lip gloss. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Let's see how good, because he, uh, I know, got all products. Oh, really? This is a competition. This is the lip toner. You know, we have toner. Wait, for this is really good. I know a lot about lips. I'm a lip. Warmer. Like, I was gonna make my own lip line, but I, I decided not to. I know all the ingredients, the best ingredients. But we won't talk about it because maybe one day I'll make a lip, you know? Right now it's like perfect time because it's like dry as hell. Like, everywhere I go, I'm like, well, the like somebody's putting on the bomb and I'm like, let me get some. Like my favorite thing to do is when I go home, I wash my face, <laughs> exfoliate. I put on like seven different lotions. It's some kind of like pleasure that I have, like feeling fresh and then I shower and I'm just like, oh, 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 oh. And then I'm just like, oh, <laughs> Anyways, what's it, uh, what else? <laughs> I saw this, it's a limited edition apparently. I was like, Huda Beauty, I love Huda Beauty! <laughs> Get it from me, or did you not like it? And then you're like, oh, I have my own, though. I got this is a new one. I really like it, so I was like, oh, I think Jesse was like that. Oh, you. this is so cute. I love you to be. I love their eyeshadows. I don't have all of them, but I have a lot. Uh, of them. the palettes. Ooh, what is this? It's a rose gold highlighter or something. Or I don't think I use highlighters because my cheekbones are like no, but I like it. I love stuff like this. It comes oh, with thank brush. you. Oh, thank you. He's so like, oh, just take it. Okay, <laughs> First, guys, he was so like starstruck, and now he's just like, ugh. Oh, <laughs> Get the shit out of my face. Get out of here, bitch. <laughs> I watch so much makeup tutorials. Some of them are interesting, but it's really rare to find interesting tutorial videos. There's so many now. You have to have such like good humor, but I feel like you have good humor. Do There's it. no people who are just like, first you put the <laughs> No, but I get it. Some people want to wake up. And hear like a low tone voice yeah. and like a loud ass motherfucker just like, let me put on fly this. <laughs> and then, <laughs> you just like, that's what I'll do. I'll probably be like, first you apply this, scrub hard when you're not supposed to scrub hard. Like, when you exfoliate, you're supposed to do it like soft, yeah. right? I'll be like, like it's thin. I'm thinking it's like thin, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I always see you with that Morphe palette. You know why I like the Morphe? It's so simple. Yeah. I like only brown paste, uh, brown, brown. I only like brown. Uh. If you, See me with pink eyeshadow, I look like I got punched in the face. <laughs> Cause I had this thing in my head that pink makes you look curly, like super like eggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bunch, bunch, bunch. Like when they first started putting this blush, uh, I was like, oh no, <laughs> no. And now I can't stop doing it. Well, yeah. yeah. That was Jesse. Did you have fun? I mean, did you? <laughs> I had fun. It seems like you. I didn't me so. I, I was like. The whole time, but. I know, I was like, I, w- I walked in here, guys, and nobody was saying hi to me, and I was just like, what? Hey! <laughs> I just thought he was Eddie, and I was like, why is he so awkward? <laughs> and then I walk in, I 
texted him, like, what are we talking about? He's like, whatever you want. Because the first thing I saw on my list was uh, Eddie Hamburger. Uh, and I'm like, oh, we eat hamburgers or not? But I, but I hope I answered all your questions, man. I have lots of questions that I forgot. I'm surprised it was just you and your manager. I thought we thought we were going to have like this huge entourage. Oh, I don't, I don't roll like that. I am not like those people who like need hair, makeup, like around me. Literally, if I face my makeup, I'm going to look exactly the same on TV. <laughs> I've done this for too long and I'm not like girly girly. Like I am when it comes to certain things, obviously. Like when I wear a dress, like I want to be like really, but when I'm just like in like chilling, I don't care what I look like or, you know, as long as I don't have something to Eddie's like someone like I would hang out with on a daily basis. Like I would invite him to my house. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you're oh I don't have that many friends. There are like a lot of guys and a lot of my girlfriends in LA and New York, but they're all like super like boyish. Mm. Or in LA they're all like really super girly. He's someone I would want to go shopping with. You know? And that one. Balance you have though. Which one would you rather? Okay. Curry that tastes like shit, or shit that tastes like curry. <laughs> what the fuck? Curry? <laughs> curry that tastes like shit. Why would I eat shit that tastes like curry? That's the whole point. Eddie invited me to a show and I thought he was gonna come prepared, but I ended up becoming the host. I'm so unprepared. I kind of feel like meeting Eddie, instead of like an uh, interview, it was more like I met a friend. That's the goal. That, that was your goal? Yeah. He actually, I felt like a, like a, some kind of friendship, like I can, I can chill with this person. That's as soon as we finish, she's gonna go home and be like, oh man, manager, like, oh bud, like you never fucking. Any hamburger in my ass, he brought me a cold hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> I like his personality and I think that we need, um, not when you do that stuff, stuff like that. This is actually my first time meeting him and this, Definitely gonna be my last. Just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I was joking. 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 You know, people get really sensitive these days. That's why me, I try to like tone it down, but they just love it. And I'm like, please edit me out. I sound like a crazy bitch. <laughs> Overall, I'm very happy at where I am, and I'm going to continue to bring people laughter and, you know, uh, not just laughter, but confidence. You know, I. I think everything is 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 confidence. There's a line between cocky and confidence. Yeah, oh yeah. Confidence is like, listen, you ate a lot of burgers last night. That stomach looks good. Like you gon' shit that out. That's right. <laughs> well, that was Jesse. No, thank you, and um, thank you for not talking. <laughs> if you haven't checked out her album. But you know what? This is actually, you know, this is not for sale. So we, really? Yeah, this is not a, this is just, I hope. Thank you for inviting me to show even though I was the only one talking. <laughs> I actually uh, made this cover. We had literally, I think it was about six hours to make a cover. I said, what the? Cause I didn't like any of the covers. So I, what I did was I told my friend, yo, we're going with Nuna. Just put all Nuna fonts here. He drew it and then I pretty much told him exactly. We had like six hours to, if this is official, Spotify, everything for all oh. platforms. I had to pick a photo out of um, about 2,000 photos, and it was probably the hardest thing to ever do because you no, know, everybody has different eyes, and I'm like, I don't want that. We went with this, and we kind of just, you know, I was like, make it look like Tetris, man. So yeah, this is actually my album. Uh, let's see, it says manager solo, not for sale. It says nothing except for the uh, the lyrics, but. It was nice meeting you, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> <Thanks>. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.